everybody. My name is Maris. I'm coming to you live from Upper Main Line YMCA, and I'm here with another science video for you today. We are going to be doing snowstorm in a jar. So again, this is an experiment that you probably have a lot of the ingredients for at home already. So you're going to need to start with a clear jar of some sort. I'm just using a plastic cup. You can use whatever clear device you have. And in the bottom, I've put about a half an inch of water. You really don't need a lot of water for this experiment. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of white paint and we're going to pour that into the water. You're going to notice, of course, that it doesn't mix by itself. So then you're going to need to get a spoon and you just want to mix this up until it becomes kind of milky. This is going to represent our snow. So once you have it all nice and mixed up like this, you're gonna take a little bit of glitter if you have it. Every project is better with a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna sprinkle that right down in the bottom there. From there, I'm gonna take baby oil and I'm gonna pour that in right over top. Now, if you don't have baby oil, you can use any kind of oil. You could use vegetable oil, whatever you have. Baby oil is just, of course, the clearest one that we have. You'll be able to see the experiment a little bit better if you have baby oil. So you're gonna use quite a bit of baby oil. You want there to be a lot more baby oil than there is water in the bottom, your colored water. So you're gonna fill up pretty much the rest of the way with baby oil. The cool thing about this experiment is when you're done, you can save the baby oil and you can repeat this. That's kind of what this jar is for. I've used the same oil for multiple snowstorm in a jar experiments. <clears throat> So from there, you're going to get yourself some Alka-Seltzer type tablets. You're gonna break them apart. And on the count of three, I'm gonna drop one in. Here we go, one, two, three. Then you'll notice it's gonna take a little bit, but you can start to see some bubbles forming. So what's happening is our Alka-Seltzer is creating carbon dioxide when it hits the water. And that carbon dioxide is bringing some of our colored water up to the top. So it makes it look like it's snowing inside of our jar. You can repeat this as much as you want to with your Alka-Seltzer tablets. You can keep dropping them in. Uh, if you add too many, of course, it could get a little bit fizzy up at the top, which makes it a little bit harder to see on the side what's going on. But if you just let it sit and rest for a couple of minutes, you should be able to do it again, no problem. It's a great experiment to just keep repeating over and over again. Check out the description for more information about this experiment. And if you have any questions, let us know. And remember, stay curious.